Hey everyone, welcome to Conf42 Large Language Models 2024. We've got some amazing sessions for you today, so let's get ready to soak up some knowledge about the latest findings in the AI space. Before we dive in, don't forget to hop on board our community train. Free RSVP not only gives you instant access to all talks through our website and YouTube playlist, but also gets you into our Slack and Discord. Conf42 LLMs 2024 is brought to you by StarterAI.dev, our newsletter partner, and our fantastic media partners. Let's start with Akanksha Shiran, Principal Business Development Manager at AWS for Data. She will help you unleash the power of Gen AI, generate growth and innovation with data. Generative AI has taken the world by storm. I'm sure all of you have heard about applications like ChatGPT, and it just shows how powerful the latest machine learning modules have become. The true power of generative AI goes beyond a search engine or a chatbot or, you know, a chat GPT. Uh, it will essentially, you know, transform how companies or organization operate or will operate in future. Boluwatife Benadola, independent AI researcher, is here to dive into the depths of superposition in LLM feature representations. Hi there. Join me for my talk about superposition in large language models as we explore how models represent information about their inputs. See you there. Venkata Sai Chaitanya Gatredi, Growth and GTM advisor, is all set to unleash the power of LLMs, revolutionizing marketing strategies. I'm going to discuss the way how we leverage LLMs in marketing. We're going to discuss different aspects, how do we measure conversion rates, we leverage data to do certain actions. We're going to understand the whole scenario. Many you might have had talks about people talking about building an LLM, maybe fine-tuning them. Yeah, but those are the concepts which are around. Samuel Barufi, the Principal Solutions Architect at AWS, is geared up to guide us through vectoring into the future. AWS Empowered Drug Systems for LLMs. Hello, everyone. Um, join my session where I'm going to be talking about uh, large language models and the power of RAG, also known as Retrieval Argument Generation. And we're going to go through all the capabilities of AWS about vector databases and generative AI. See you there. Bongani Shongwe, Senior Data Engineer at Adivinta eBay, is here to pioneer the way forward with running an open source LLM. Large learning models have become a popular topic with a wide range of use cases. OpenAPI, BART, Bedrock are just some of the few services out there which have arisen to provide generative AI services. But different use cases might prevent you from using these ready-to-go services or you may have actually considered stepping away from these services and running your own large learning model. So join me in my talk where we'll explore the options available for harnessing large learning models, including deploying your own large learning model service. Martin Shemaniuk, the CEO of Tantus Data, is all set to challenge our perspectives with AI chats. What nobody told you, the conundrums of business integration. Ever tried chatting with AI and thought, hmm, this could really spice up my business? But then, reality checks in. Integration headaches, privacy scares, and oh, the costs. Well, what if I told you there is a way to navigate through that jungle, grabbing the fruit of AI without falling into hidden traps? Join me for my talk, where I'll dive into the conundrums of business integrations of AI chats, from external API integrations to cost calculators and the art of data privacy. I've got you covered. And who knows? By the end, integrating LLMs might just seem easier than deciding what to binge watch on Netflix. I wonder, what's the number one this week? Santosh Nikhil Kumar, senior software engineer at ByteDance, is ready to explore the intricacies of isolation levels and partial failures in distributed systems with LLMs. Please join me for my talk on uh, isolation levels and partial failures in distributed systems with uh, large language models. I'll be using the real world example like uh, e-commerce platform to demonstrate the importance of non-functional aspects of uh, distributed systems like 
concurrency, uh, consistency, performance, availability, and reliability, and how all of these can be achieved. Hope you all enjoy the talk and looking forward to it. Dennis Kokov, the CPO of Generative AI Startup, is about to lead us on a journey through implementing Gen AI in a banking context, a hands-on approach. I will be speaking from business perspective. We'll discuss what kind of concerns bank may have and how can we handle them. Really looking forward to this talk and hope you'll enjoy the conference. Oliver Ruas, R&D engineer at Pathway, will guide us through the process of making your LLM app sane again forgetting incorrect data in real time. Please join me in my session about how to make your LLM app sane again, forgetting incorrect data in real time. I will try to answer the following sensitive question. What can I do if my data is compromised? I will be discussing how to make a chatbot in Python that can learn and forget in real time so you can remove fake news from your documentation without worrying about whether the system still put them or not. Hope to have you on board. Under the conference. Zain Hassan, senior developer advocate at Weaviate, will enlighten us on building chatbox with advanced retrieval augmented generation techniques. I'm going to be talking about advanced retrieval augmented generation. And I'm going to be explaining some of the techniques that I use to build a super doctor. Uh, and the super doctor chatbot can retrieve patient's information and it can reason over it. So I've got a data set of about 200,000 patient. Uh, patient cases and it can also retrieve uh, medical articles uh, and so I'll talk about how I built that application so join me looking forward to it. Alden Creo, technology research specialist at Accenture is set to show us how to use ChatGPT without getting caught. Are you ready to answer the question that everyone's a bit too afraid to ask? Let's find out how to use ChatGPT without getting caught and to do that we'll start from scratch so you don't need to know like any programming or nothing at all. We're just going to try to understand how the systems to attack AI generated text work, which is actually the key to know how to get around them. So are you ready to uncover the mysteries? Dmitry Kindria, Chief Operation Officer at To You Delivery, is about to address the role of LLMs in customer support. Today, I'd like to talk about how large language models help us serve our customers and process their complaints faster with a better user experience. Bobur Umoshkov, developer advocate at Atacama, is ready to unveil the potential of LLM for better developer learning of your product. Hi everyone, here is Bobur speaking. I'm a developer advocate and I'm super excited to be a speaker for Con42 conference. This year, we know that developers are highly engaged and interested in AI technologies, with 57% of developers globally already working and learning about the generative AI. In this session, we'll discuss how developer relations meets generative AI in 2024. I will look forward to presenting my session. See you soon. Bye-bye. Ashwin Patke, Senior Machine Learning Engineer at Servient, is the next speaker. You get an LLM you get an LLM, everyone gets an LLM, but does it work? Thanks for joining me today. I'm excited here to talk about large language models, especially large language models evaluations and how you can evaluate your model in a better way or how you can use certain frameworks that are available to understand how a particular language model is performing for your specific use case. Chloe Caron, architect developer at Fiodo, is about to embark on a journey to explore how well do LLMs detect anomalies in your data. I'm going to be talking about how well LLMs detect anomalies in your data. During this session, we're going to be constructing an anomaly detector using an LLM. We're also going to be exploring how to improve its performance through some prompt engineering and analyzing the effects of data types. Now, we're also going to see how you can adapt your anomaly detector to best fit your application. Really looking forward to this talk. Thank you for joining in. Michael Yuan, the co-founder of Second State and WasMedge, is about to share insights on self-hosting LLMs across devices, fast and efficient. So in this talk, we're going to talk about self-hosted LLMs, and we're going to use primarily use three open source projects. One is called the WasMedge, and then the second project is called the Llama Edge, and then the third project is GaiaNet. 
Abigail Haddad, lead data scientist at Capital Technology Group, is ready to unveil automated evaluation for your RAC chatbot or other generative tool. There are a lot of bad retrieval augmented generation or RAG chatbots out there. I can't tell you how to not build one of those, that's a different talk. But I can point you in the direction of an automated evaluation strategy for testing out your chatbot or other generative tool. We'll talk about string matching, semantic similarity, and finally, my favorite, how you can evaluate large language models using other large language models. I hope you'll join me. Tim Spann, principal developer advocate at Cloudera, will guide us through adding generative AI to real-time streaming pipelines. I'm going to discuss a couple of different open source technologies that work together to enable you to build real-time pipelines using large language models. So we'll touch on Kafka, NiFi, Flink, Python, Iceberg, and I'll show you a little bit of each one in the demos. Chris Lella, Data Science and Machine Learning Fellow at ElevateAICoaching.com, will show us how to revolutionize content creation with collaborative AI, a crowd-breaking approach. At the moment, many see LLM outputs as being a little generic and unnatural. However, in a world where content is still king, getting it just right is paramount. Are our current LLMs up to the task? Hi, everyone. Please join me in a super exciting discussion on how leveraging multiple LLMs at the same time, something I call collaborative AI, can help get us that much closer to just right. Manuel Henkel and Poria Izadi from AWS are here to tell you more about generative AI security, a practical guide to securing your AI application. If you want to build secure generative AI applications, this talk is for you. Puria and I will talk about generative AI security and how you can secure your AI application. You will learn about things to consider from design to production. You will learn about the top vulnerabilities seen in LLMs and of course also measures you can implement to protect your application, your users and your data. So join us for this talk if you want to learn more. Indika Wimala Surya, Senior Systems Engineering Manager at Virtuza, is ready to explore observability maturity from foundation to AIOps with LLMs in AWS. Welcome to CON42 LLM 2024. My name is Indika Wimala Surya and I'll walk you through how you can build a comprehensive observability maturity model for your generative AI app. Take time to join with us. Thank you. Joshua Arvin Latt and Sophie Sullivan will now show you how to build your own LLM vulnerability scanner to audit and secure AI applications. Today, we will talk about how to build our own LLM vulnerability scanner to audit and secure AI applications. Pranav Shikarpur, developer advocate at Pangea, will unveil the way to get AI to do the unexpected. In this talk, we will be going over how to exploit LLM applications through something called prompt injections, prompt jailbreaking, prompt leaking, and various different exploits, as well as how to add defenses through prompt engineering as well as through third-party tools. Um, so come on and watch my talk for a hands-on demo uh, as to how to exploit and defend uh, LLM applications. See you soon. Eugen Nilo. LLM security at OWASP Foundation will navigate us through governance, risk, and compliance for large language models. LLMs have introduced AI technologies to millions of people for both professional and personal usage. However, with great power comes great responsibility, so LLMs should be safe and secure. In this presentation, we will review the most important security risks for large language models. Suraj Muralidharan, Principal Architect Platform Engineering Global Financial Services at AWS, will share insights on operational excellence for your LLMs using Amazon Bedrock. Today we will be talking about operational excellence for your LLMs using Amazon Bedrock. Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service which gives you access to different foundation models via a single API. We will talk about the architectural patterns on how to invoke this API, what kind of integration mechanisms can be added by you, what is the observability that you're getting out of the box, and finally, 
the guardrails that you can apply for your LLM invocation. Hope you enjoy the session. Offer Mendelevich, developer relations at Vectara, is here to help you measure hallucinations in RUG. I've been with Vectara for about a year and I had the opportunity to work on LLMs kind of early on since the times of GPT-2. It's been an incredible journey for me to see how this technology evolved to become so useful and help us be more productive. Ben Fisting, the co-founder of Semanti.ai, is here to introduce you to the future of search. In my talk, we're going to find out how to use LLMs for semantic search, how to set up a vector database, but more importantly, what sort of pitfalls you can expect, what things to avoid, and what kind of performance optimizations you're going to have to make, as well as the actual business use cases that you can use semantic search for. So tune in. Last but not least, Deepak Karunanidhi, the Associate Director of Data Science and Machine Learning at Novartis, will explore the future of LLMs and machine learning productionization. Today I'm going to talk about the large language models and the future of large language models and productionization of the large language models. Myself, Deepak, I'm working as an Associate Director for Data Science and Machine Learning Projects. I also have more than 15 years of experience in data science and machine learning. Our lineup for Conf42 Large Language Models 2024 is now complete. As per usual, FreeRSVP unlocks all the content and gives you instant access to our Slack and Discord. All talks will start streaming immediately after this video ends. Please visit our website to look up the schedule. If you value our work, please consider a monthly subscription to support our mission. This helps us grow and grants you some nice perks in return. This is Mark signing out. I hope you will have some quality learning time at Conf42 LLMs 2024. Cheers!